Hello, welcome back to my channel and page. If you're just joining me for the first time, I am Oka for Tochi. In this channel and page, we talk about the use of herbs, fruits, and all the natural elements to solve human problems. We do marriage counseling, we also do relationship tips, and we talk about every other thing that can help people in life. On today's video, I am going to tell you the simple way to cancel or to destroy bad dreams as in how to make your bad dreams not to come to pass not to manifest in real life so the essence of you having or seeing things in your dream is to tell you that this is what this is what is happening to you or this is what will happen to you or this is what is about to happen to you it either manifests immediately or in future so if it is a good one what will you do if it is a bad one how do you cancel it and make it not to come to pass what you will do in order to stop it from manifesting in your real life that is what i'm about to share with you on today's video also know that you have a very strong power in your mouth this mouth is given to us to claim something or to reject something. The essence of human being talking is because God has given them the power to accept things or to reject things with their mouth. I'm going to show you how you will use onions to cancel your bad dreams today. Then if it is good one, what you will do for it to manifest. How will you do if you have a bad dreams? Maybe in your dream, you saw where you die or want someone that is dear to you uh, die or is sick or have one problem or the other. Anything that will make you shed tears, you saw it in your dream. Or what will make you to have a great loss when you saw such a thing, when you see such a thing, when you see such a thing in your dream, how will you cancel it? First, when you wake up, and notice that it is a dream. First of all, thank you, Jesus, because it is still a dream. Why you are thanking God is that because it is not happening. Because there are some times that when you have a dream, it will look real. It won't look like dreams. It will be happening as if it is happening in real life. So once you get up and it's a bad one, just say thank you, Jesus. Because the essence of revealing, uh, revealing it to you is that because it's for you to either pray against it or do something about it for it not to manifest. God exposes the plans of the enemies to the people that he loves. So if you're one of those people that sit in your dream, you are lucky. God loves you so much. And that is the essence of, uh, that is why he's showing you that there are people in this life that from year to year, they don't dream. They can never see something in their dream. So when you see such a thing, what will you do? Get onion like this or garlic, anyone that is available to you. When you get this onion, what will you do? Bite it like this. Then chew it. After chewing it, start talking. This thing that I saw in my dream, just to pour it away. Pour it away. As you're pouring it away, you're pouring it away. You're pouring away anything that will make you cry. Anything that will bring tears to you. Anything that will bring sorrow to you. You are just pouring it out. After doing that, just go your way. But make sure that you pray very well. Because prayer is the key. We do our own, but God Almighty is the one who answers prayers. He has given powers to these things. So when you use it to cancel such bad dreams, God will hear you and destroy the dreams. But if you keep quiet, when you get up from the dream, when you wake up from your sleep and notice that it's and start shivering, start being afraid, hey, I saw where I died, I saw where my loved ones died. I, let me tell you, what kills people in this life is fear. God said that he has not given us the spirit of fear. What kills you in life is fear, not what people are doing to you or what you saw in your dream. If you allow those things, if you allow fear to overcome you, that is when those things get to you. If you allow fear to get to overwhelm you, overcome you, overwhelm you as in take greater part of you, you notice that every little thing you'll be afraid, even the ones that you can use your mouth to set yourself free, you'll be, you, you'll be afraid. So learn to. Whatever it is in this life, even if even if you dream that you die, 
When you wake up, tell them I will not die you. If it is coming from my mother's house, it is not going to work. If it's coming from my father's house, it is not, it's not going to work. If it is coming from anywhere, any source whatsoever, it is not going to work. I am going to leave. I must leave. When you start proclaiming it, claiming that you will leave, canceling that spirit of death. Spirit of death, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere that you come from, go back there. It's spirit of failure, anywhere you come from, go back there. Spirit of uh, uh, near success syndrome. I command you to go away. I must succeed in life. I must make it in life. I must live long. I will not foresee any spirit of sickness, any source, any words of this. So return it back to the sender. Use your mouth and bear yourself. Thanks for watching. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified each time I upload your new content. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. If you're watching me from Facebook, please like, share, comment, okay? See you in my next video. Bye for now.